living in the shadow of the monarch can be difficult, as many have pointed out about Prince Harry, whose brother Prince William will be King of England one day. In this case, Princess Margaret was the younger sister of British monarch Queen Elizabeth II, and while Elizabeth served as the composed, front-facing royal, Margaret had a more free-flowing approach. According to Vogue, Margaret was believed to have been linked romantically to everyone from Mick Jagger to Picasso, as well as reveling in a socialite lifestyle by partying with models. Although Margaret died in 2002, the legacy of the Princess and Countess of Snowdon lives on in those who encountered her. Such is the case for her friend, artist Derek Bashir, whose relationship with the royal started through Margaret's husband, Anthony Armstrong Jones, according to the Daily Mail. Despite being almost two decades since Margaret's death, anecdotes from her friends and colleagues are still coming to the surface. In a recent interview with The Telegraph via The Daily Mail, Princess Margaret's friend Derek Bashir spoke about what the personality of the late royal was really like, behind the scenes of the tabloid coverage. Bashir is an artist, and although he's now well into his 80s, he still has some memories of Margaret in the 1960s. Bashir befriended Margaret, as her husband, Anthony Armstrong Jones, was a photographer before becoming an earl. As for Margaret herself, Bashir described her as very unpredictable, friendly with you one second, cold the next. Despite the ups and downs, Bashir and Margaret did share a moment, according to the interview, where they passed along a marijuana joint at a party, which also speaks to her modern approach. Along with Bouchier's description, a separate Telegraph article about sports commentator Henry Blofeld seems to corroborate the princess's personality, listing her as his worst celebrity experience. She told me, more or less, that I should wait until I was spoken to. You don't ask royalty questions, they talk to you and you answer them, he claimed for the Daily Mail. She gave me a dressing down then. It was quite an embarrassing moment.